Welcome to week three as our 19th ranked Tigers. Welcome to number five ranked Michigan Wolverines to the hole. It's a battle of top 20 teams. First quarter action, Phil Austin in the gun. He throws a gorgeous ball across the middle to Derek Pate for a gain of 17. Then Brooks takes the handoff up the middle, weaves through traffic, and gains eight yards. After an Austin sack, the sophomore quarterback links up with Clark on the curl for a gain of 13. On third and seven, Austin with the deep drop and hits big Chad Terrell. He sheds two tackles and picks up 12. Two plays later, Austin goes back to the air. And check out this catch by Terrell in the corner of the end zone. Grambler State strikes first, 7-0. Michigan takes over. Chris Evans takes the stretch right, breaks two tackles, stiff arms Bridgewater, and is finally brought down after a gain of 19. A few plays later, Peters hits Peoples-Jones on the screen. He turns up field, sheds a tackle, and is off to the races. The big wideout goes 51 yards to the house. We're all knotted up at seven apiece. Next Grambling State possession, Austin from the gun. He connects with DJ Clark on the slant, and the senior turns it upfield for a gain of 27 yards. Then Austin goes play action and throws a dart to Bradford across the middle for 12. A few plays later, CB23 gets his first touchdown on the day. Grambling regains the lead 14 to 7. Wolverines come back out throwing. Peters with the seven-step drop. Scrambles out of the pocket right. He has tons of green in front of him. He drops his shoulder and picks up 19. Then Peters goes play action. Has tons of time. Scrambles out left. Makes a juke move and picks up 15 more yards. Next play, Evans takes the handoff up the middle. Turns on the Jets and picks up 11. Then on third and long, Peters drops back. Feels the pressure and throws a perfect back shoulder pass to People Jones in the end zone. It's a 14-14 game. GSU takes over Austin from the gun. He connects with Clark on the outside. He turns the corner and picks up 22. Then Will Higgins takes the handoff, makes a cut, stumbles, and fights to get 11. After another Austin sack, the sophomore QB connects with Big Chad Terrell on the outside. He fights for the first down. A few plays later, CB23 goes back up the gut, finds a crease, and picks up 11. Then Austin drops back, stands tall in the pocket, and hits Pate on the slant. He picks up 13. Next play, Will Higgins goes up the gut, breaks the tackle, and walks into the end zone. 21-14, Gramlin State. Michigan goes three and out, and Austin shows off his deep ball. He throws it up deep to Chad Terrell, and he comes down with it. He uses his stiff arm and fights for 43 yards. What a play. Then Terrell will cap off the drive with this 13-yard TD catch, his second on the day. Grantland takes a two-score lead. Wolverine's offense back on the field. Evans takes the pitch left, gets a great block, tries to turn the corner, but it's tackled for a one-yard loss. Then on third and five, Peters drops back and drops a dime to Black on the sideline for 14. Next play, Peters goes play action. He scrambles to his right and finds his big tight end gentry wide open. He stiff arms Bridgewater and is off to the races. Bennett tries to trip him up at the goal line, but the big fella stumbles into the end zone. Wolverines cut the lead in half. GSU goes two-minute drill. Brooks finds a hole on the left, cuts up field, and picks up the first down. The CB23 continues to gash the Wolverines defense. He gains another nine yards. Later in the drive, Austin drops back and throws a dart to Bradford across the middle. He gains 12. Later drive, Austin goes back to the air. He goes with a deep drop and hits gun wide open at the 20 for a gain of 13. A few plays later, Austin goes back to the air. He tries to force a pass to Bradford, but is picked off by Long, ending the drive and the half. Tigers go into the half up 28 to 21. The offense is carrying the load while the G-Men's defense is having a tough time with the Wolverines passing game. They have to tighten up in the second half. Start of third, Peters with the seven-step drop, tries to step up in the pocket, but is sacked by the freshman Richard Maynard. A few plays later, Peters makes up for the sack. Check out the precise pass to Peoples-Jones on the sideline for 15. Then Peters shows off his running ability, scrambling right, shedding a tackle, and fighting forward for 14. Three plays later, Peters goes back to the air and throws it to Peoples-Jones, but CB1 John Nichols jumps the route and picks it off. What a read by the leader of the secondary. But the Tigers would go three and out. Wolverines look to capitalize. Peters drops back and throws it to Gentry on the outside. The big tight end is pushed out after picking up 14. Next play, Peters goes back to the air. 
He has tons of time and finds Crawford wide open behind the zone for a gain of 21. Then Peters with the seven step drop, he steps up and tries to force a pass to Black but is picked off by freshman corner Bennett. Turnover number two for the G-Men. But the Tigers could not capitalize again. Wolverines take back over. Peters looks to make up for his two picks. He, hit, he hits Black on the outside for 12. Then Peters drops back, doesn't like what he sees, and takes off. He drops his shoulder and gains 10 yards. Next play, Chris Evans goes up the gut untouched and powers his way to 14 yards. Then Evans gets the rock again, this time bouncing it to the outside. Turns up his speed and stiff arms for a gain of 14. Next play, Peters hits Black on the slant. He shows off his strength, muscling his way into the end zone. We're all tied up at 28 apiece. GSU looks to get things rolling. Will Higgins takes the handoff, finds a crease, hits the sideline, and is off to the races. The speedy back turns on the Jets and gains 38 yards. Then Brooks goes up the middle and muscles his way to a 10-yard gain. Later drive, Austin drops back and hits DJ Clark on the slant for 10. Then CB23 will get in the end zone for the second time on the day. Tigers regain the lead. Under five minutes left in the game, Peters with the deep drop. He hits Evans on the check down. He turns up field and gets pushed out after gaining eight. Then Samuel takes the handoff outside, sheds a tackle, and stumbles his way to a nine-yard pickup. Later, Evans takes the counter, cuts it back, finds a crease, and gets tripped up and falls down. If he would have stayed up, he would have definitely scored on that play. Next play, Peters from the gun. He waits and waits, finally hitting Crawford open behind the zone for a gain of 20. A couple plays later, Samuel takes the handoff and drops his shoulder for an eight-yard pickup. First and goal, Peters goes play action. He tries to scramble right, but Hodges stands him up, and it's a fumble. Well, Wolverine's offensive lineman is there to recover. Third and goal for Michigan. Peters drops back and takes off running. He's able to get down to the two-yard line. Big play here, fourth down. Evans takes the handoff left, tries to cut back, but Jackson is there to make the tackle. What a stand by the G-Men defense. Tigers look to put the game away. Higgins takes the counter right, gets the first, and much more. The senior back turns on his Jets and is pushed out after picking up 38, and that would do it. Granville State does it again, upsetting another top five team. 35-28 to is your final. Phil Austin finished 22 of 30 for 274 yards and two passing TDs and one interception. On the ground, Charlie Brooks carried the rock 31 times for 176 yards and two scores. And quietly, Higgins carried the rock eight times for 102 yards and one score. Out wide, Bradford, Clark, and Chad Terrell had five grabs apiece, but it was Big CT who caught two TD passes and almost broke 100 yards. On defense, Hodges led the way with seven tackles and a sack. And our two freshman D linemen, Goff and Maynard, had a sack apiece. And shout out to Ron Bennett and John Nichols. They both had an interception in the secondary. What a great win for our program. Now we look ahead to our matchup with LSU. They were our only loss last year when we took an L by 14. We'll scout their team and take a look at our recruiting board for the first time in the Tigers Den podcast coming up. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're brand new. And don't forget, hit those links and follow your boy on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all at Big C Gat Game. And we'll talk from Baton Rouge. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.